Hi, well, this weekend I'm going to be exhibiting in Delray Beach at the Downtown Delray Beach Festival of the Arts. Um, but today is Wednesday and I'm doing something really cool to promote the show today. So check this out. Welcome back to the 35th Annual Delray Beach Festival of the Arts. It's coming back this weekend. Always an awesome free outdoor gallery. It's going to feature multiple artists with various crafts. Joining me now is Howard Allen, Events Director of Operations at the end there. Elaine Laurent wearing all things from the festival, all from all artists. Can't wait to talk about that. And then aerial kite photographer and artist, Evan Reinheimer. Holy cow, this is so cool. You took this from a kite? Thank you. Yeah, all of my photographs are aerial photographs that I take using a traditional kite to lift my camera up into the sky. That's amazing. How long have you been doing this? Uh, almost 20 years now really? since I was in art school and college. What a creative way to do this. And I always think, like, when you're buying a piece of art, what a fun story. Because I was asking you a couple of things. So yeah. someone could say, well, this is how the artist took the picture. And I asked you, I go, oh, did you set all this up? And you said, mm -hmm. no, this is no, just this, our natural. That's a Some of my shots here. I set up, this is a, a natural shot that I took. Um, yeah. In Miami, you said, right? Yes, yeah, this was done on the beach in Miami. I mean, if this doesn't scream Miami, I'm not sure what does. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Very cool. Let's talk a little bit about um, the actual festival. It's free. It's outdoors. It's up and down the streets. It's amazing. What can people expect this year? Um, well, this year we have almost 300 exhibitors, wow. so it's going to be a big show. Um, it also has the first move it's done in a long time. So we used to be on uh on Atlantic from Federal mm -hmm. out to the Intercoastal East. And this year we've moved it from uh, Swinton West to Southwest Fifth. I think that's going to be a better spot. We do because the original um, show had to go up and over the Intercoastal. Uh, Intercoastal. It was a very long show, very mm -hmm. hard to walk. It was very um, extended. This is going to be the same quality and the same number of exhibitors, but more condensed so that the pedestrians can stroll around and enjoy it a little more. Very cool. We're getting yeah. some video of how you take your shots. It's incredible. Thank you. That is so talented. I mean, look at all those people. It's a great time, I know. And we were talking about it's such an honor to be in this show. I mean, it is heavily judged, as you said. And there are international artists that are there, a lot of uh, na nationwide artists, but a lot of from Florida as well. Yeah, so we always try to get the local flavor in. We try to include as many local artists as we can. Um, and then we do have um, national artists that tour with us and do all of our shows. We do about um, 48 fine art festivals a year. So we're you know all over the place. And then we have a large number of international exhibitors and we have a large number of family from so cool. siblings to second generation and third generation exhibitors. That's so neat. Tell us what you have. What you're holding. So people. I brought um, a piece. This is a personal piece of mine. And this is uh, from Gail Markowitz. She's actually um, works with clay. And she does all the engraving and painting. It looks like a purse. It does. She also does bust of women in bikini, kind of coastal stuff, uh -huh. and great sunglasses. And she'll be at the show as well. And then all of my jewelry. I kind of decked out a little. Bit. I love it. All of my jewelry is from exhibitors that will be at the show, as well as um, Ina Shoulder with her scarf. She'll be there as well. I think it's so neat. There's something for everyone. If you're looking for a piece of, you know, a picture art for for your home, or like you said, just a piece of jewelry. And I also think if you're wanting to go spend thousands of dollars, you can, but you can also buy something that is, uh, you know, much much more in your price range, and it, and so it's something for everyone. Exactly. Absolutely. And if you go to um, artfestival.com, we have a gallery. Uh, preview of all of the exhibitors that will be there. Oh, nice. It'll also have parking information and all of our upcoming shows, too. So it's artfestival.com. Everything you need to help you get to the show, enjoy it, it's all going to be there. And it's free, and we've made it very easy for you to check it out. We've got a link to their website on ours. Really quickly, do you know where you're going to be located? And someone's watching this right now and going, oh my gosh, I've got to have this piece. Do you He's probably going to put you on the spot. No, I'll put him on the spot. Okay. He's probably going to be closer up to between 5th and 4th. Fifth and fourth. Somewhere okay. Fourth. Fifth and fourth. All right. Yes, yeah. please Big do. Boot. Great stuff. All right. If you want more information, go to WPBF.com. Thank you so much. I think the weekend's going to be beautiful. Great. Hopefully we'll Thanks see you all here. Yeah, us. Vanessa. Thanks, Aaron. So how cool was that? Um, I thought it was really awesome of the people at Howard Allen Events to ask me to be a part of that and help promote the show here this weekend. And it's no secret. I've talked about in these videos before um, the issues that I struggle with when it comes to anxiety and nerves. I get anxious just about doing everything in my entire life, uh, especially doing art shows and even making these YouTube videos causes me some pretty ex extreme anxiety sometimes. But when it comes to something like being on live television, my anxiety level surprisingly is like a zero 
being on live TV doesn't seem to bother me at all. I get more nervous and anxious doing YouTube videos than I do being on live television. So that's kind of an interesting, strange thing about me. heard Elaine mention in the segment, the show actually moved locations a little bit where it used to go all the way right down to the ocean. Now it's on the west side of downtown. So anytime a, a show moves locations, it's cause for concern from a lot of the artists. Um, but the, the marketing that they did here this weekend seems to have really worked. The show was really busy in the morning up until about two o'clock when the weather turned kind of crummy and people were selling. I sold some big pieces. Um, I'm just actually in fact replacing some pieces that sold yesterday right now it's Sunday morning and it's a, a rainy Sunday morning some of my best days at art festivals have been when the weather isn't great because people who come out to art festivals despite the weather are there for an intentional purpose to see the art show and buy art but thankfully the weather should clear up here soon and uh, it should be another beautiful day here at the downtown Delray Beach Festival of the Arts <laughs> Say hi. 